Yes, you're looking at my comic book. I bought it while waiting in line uh, for the premiere, Batman vs. Superman. Um, I'm going to give you about 10 seconds and let you know this is a spoiler alert. So if you haven't seen the movie, I'm about to drop as much about it as I can. And uh, for those who want to hate about it, uh, I'm sorry, I don't really know what to say about that other than I'm a movie junkie and uh, I enjoy films and I, I enjoy spoilers um, um, I'm a spoiler sponsor per se so that should be enough time to let you know that you're spoiling time to avoid what was that 45 seconds I gave you okay basically let's jump into this um, uh, Justice League, the members get shown. Everybody gets shown except Green Lantern. Um, I'll have to watch it again to see if they dropped any hints uh, about Green Lantern that I didn't notice. Um, basically, Lex Luthor has a file and on the thumb drive that Batman decrypts and steals from Luthor's facility. Um, gets stolen from him before he can actually get it because uh, Gil Gadot, or Gadot, uh, Wonder Woman takes it and then leaves it in his car. He decrypts it and says, hey, I'm sharing too, you know? And, uh, cause he discovers that Wonder Woman is actually like an ancient warrior. Um, and he decrypts the file, looks at it, there's four files in there. Um, Wonder Woman, Cyborg, uh, Aquaman, and Flash. Um, Flash is, uh, he interrupts a robbery while looking like for something to drink at it, like a liquor store or something, you know, there's a robbery going on and you see him zip like real fast. Uh, Aquaman is, uh, shows some underwater subs investigating a, a crash in the ocean or something like an, like an oil tanker or something. And he's inside the, the, the sunken ship and comes out and he can swim underwater like Superman can fly, put it that way. Um, Cyborg looks like he was a, uh, like injured in an accident his whole body was gone except his like right shoulder arm maybe part of his right arm part of his torso and his head and there's a doctor working on him trying to like keep him alive or revive him but he has something and it reminds me of something from um, agents of shield where they had that melting liquid that was forming and could form into a solid and back to a liquid well he had something like that but it was like a uh, terrestrial squares and I don't know anyway something happened where it just jumped from the table to cyborg's body and started to create a cyborg like what we'll probably see in the Justice League um, and then um, Wonder Woman you know they had some old footage of her um, from before and how she hasn't aged at all um, one of the my favorite scenes I'm a huge flash person um, character uh, I like Flash was in my opinion it was it's Flash trying to get at Batman and he's time traveling as you know if you've ever watched if you're read Infinite Crisis or you know um, Out of Time or any of those with Flash you'll see um, he obviously you can time travel well he's time traveling and he's trying to like get to that day you know, and he's telling Batman, like, you, you know, you, you, you've got to stop, you, you know, you know the truth, and, but, basically, um, <clears throat> to me, you can hear Flash, and it's real distorted, too, so they didn't just make it clear, like, hey, it's Flash trying to time travel, no, it's real distorted and blurry, like it's, uh, like it's, like it's a fast motion picture scene or something. And you can see the color and part of the face, but he's saying, oh, I'm too soon, I'm too soon. Right there, it's like, he's time traveling, he probably hit the wrong time, you know what I mean? He was supposed to come later or something. So I don't know, that was interesting, I like that, because it's like Flash got two scenes in the movie. Um, and um, the next character that's probably going to be introduced will be, um, I'm going to guess it's, it's going to be Darkseid. The reason why is if you, if you noticed uh, the, the flying locust people in the desert that were attacking and dragging people off, those are the minions for Darkseid. So they, that kind of goes hand in hand uh, per se. So to me, that's who the next character is. Plus at the end of the movie, um, Batman goes and visits Lex Luthor in jail. And Lex Luthor tells him, uh, hey, the bell has rung. The bell has rung. And... 
the, you know, the aliens, you know, or the, you know, they have heard it in space and the stars. They have heard the bell being rung, and they know now that God is dead. Referring to Superman, because now you know Superman dies. Um, casket pours a handful of dirt on his casket, and in the last scene, you can hear some faint um, thumping. It was uh, more like a boom, boom. And then there's a long pause, so it's almost to trick you, like it's not a heartbeat. And then you hear it again, boom, boom. It's not like in any movie you'd see where it's obvious. So that was really cool. I like the way Zack Snyder kind of incorporated that, you know, quietness of it. Um, so they, they, they take his casket around, they finally lower him in the dirt, and right before the camera shuts off, they show um, the dirt starting to rise that's on his casket so obviously he's coming back to life plus they start filming uh, justice league in april um i mean there's other things that happen but to be to the gist of it that's all there is to it um you know and if you want to know who was dominant dominant in the movie uh, batman was more dominant he's clearly more dominant in the fight with superman but then again they say when they release the blu-ray they'll release the uh, rated r uh fight scene so uh, i thought it was pretty good so but yes, uh, Superman dies fighting um, Doomsday, and um, Wonder Woman. Her character was, it was perfect in the movie. I like the way they portrayed her character, real, real strong and dominant in the movie. So uh, I'm guessing that was intentional for for the sequel that will be coming up for Wonder Woman, Wonder Woman's solo um, movie. Anyhow, um, anyhow. Leave your comments, concerns, complaints, grudges. Again, this is a spoiler. Nothing fancy. It's not one of those high edited, super animated videos. Get straight to the point about it. So I probably wasted about seven minutes of your life that you're not going to get back because I'm having you stare at a comic book that I got while waiting in line. And I refuse to open it for some reason. So, anyhow, um, I guess I could engage if you guys post any positive comments. Otherwise, uh, Sorry for uh, pissing anybody off. Um, again, straight from the window, uh, get go. It's all uh, spoilers. So, have a good evening and go see the movie. It's well worth it. It's almost three hours long. <laughs> and uh, I got the best seat in the house, but I waited about three hours in line also. So, till next time, folks.